And finally, new rule, don't wish ill health on President Trump, but just because he got sick, don't forget that he's still out there trying to steal an election. Three years ago in this space, I talked about that <clears throat> most famous word from the Declaration of Independence, self-evident. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Well, we were wrong. <laughs> it took almost 250 years, but we found a guy for which nothing <clears throat> is self-evident. Like... <clears throat> like leaving office when there's an election and you lose. Not self-evident. <laughs> Don't put your son-in-law in charge of the government. Not self-evident. <laughs> Don't keep operating a for-profit business empire while you're in office. You know, little things we didn't think we had to write down. <clears throat> Release your taxes. Get your cabinet confirmed. Don't use the White House for a partisan convention. Don't accept foreign help in an election. Care for all the states, not just the ones that voted for you. Uh, little things. Uh, take sides only with the countries named America. Yeah. No nothing is self-evident to this man. Sure, the law says you can vote by mail, but it doesn't say anything about fucking with the place that handles the mail. <laughs> this... <laughs> this guy finds loopholes like bird shit finds my windshield. <laughs> if there's one thing we've learned from this presidency, it's that you have to get everything in writing. Because if you don't, he will do a Gus. What's a Gus? Gus <laughs> is that Disney movie from the 70s I keep talking about that no one remembers. <laughs> so let me describe it once again. Gus is a mule that is signed by a football team to kick field goals with his powerful mule leg. <laughs> and when the other teams object, the Gus team just says, too bad, suckers. The rule book doesn't specifically say the players have to be human. Everyone just assumed that, so fuck you, we're going to do it. That's Trump's philosophy on everything. If you... If you don't specifically write down that I can't do something, I will. Now, we've all seen a Gus in real life, but it's usually just a guy at the Costco sample table who notices there's no one-per-customer sign and says, great, dinner. <laughs> but it's different when the president is a Gus. And I'm here to warn you tonight that our field goal kicking leader is now planning his ultimate Gus, which is screwing with the electoral college. You see, we don't have direct presidential elections in America. We have a middleman, the electors. They're the ones who actually convene on December 14th and cast ballots to determine who is president. Now, in the past, no one ever questioned, if you win the state, you get the electors, because we're a democracy, sort of. But it turns out that's not a law. It's not in the Constitution, and it's not written down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gus alert. The Trump campaign's legal advisor told The Atlantic, on the record, that if there's any hint of voting irregularities, Republican state legislatures might say, and I quote, we don't think the results of our own state are accurate. So here's our slate of electors that we think properly reflect the results of our state. In other words, fuck the vote. We're telling our electors to vote for the other guy. So it's a completely plausible scenario that Biden wins the popular vote in Florida, say, but then Trump starts ranting about how people are saying <laughs> an alligator ate a box of ballots in Ta Tallahassee, <laughs> and that's all the cover needed 
for the Republican-controlled state house and Republican governor to say, until we get to the bottom of this, we're not sending our electors to vote for Biden. Now do you see why I feel like I've just been tied up by a German dominatrix who doesn't understand my safe word? <laughs> And Republicans control both legislative chambers in the six most key battleground states. At very least, they can make things so chaotic that neither candidate gets 270 electoral votes. And then the election goes to the House, where each state gets one vote. So 26 votes wins. How many state delegations do Republicans control? 26. We never catch a break. But don't get discouraged. Vote. Vote early and vote often. But get ready for Trump to gus the election.